Hello, Lana. Thank you once again for choosing to attend this lesson. Our today's lesson is a continuation of the topic on the theory of consumer behavior. The theory of consumer behavior. The theory of consumer behavior. This theory helps us understand how consumers behave in the market, how they use their income to purchase different commodities, uh, different uh, uh, quantities at different prices in the market. Okay, and in our last lesson, we defined the meaning of certain terms like utility. We said utility is the ability of a commodity to satisfy a human want. We went further and uh, stated the various approaches to consumer behavior, the cardinal approach and the ordinal approach. And we went further and introduced the subtopic of the marginal utility analysis. Under that, we define the term total utility, marginal utility. I illustrated by drinking some juice on, uh, to illustrate the point on the marginal utility being the additional satisfaction that a consumer derives from consumption of additional units of the same commodity. So today I went further and requested manifested publishers to make available another glass of juice, which I need to use in recap. I say that as you drink the first glass of juice, as you drink the first glass of juice, you will derive satisfaction from it. Under the cardinal approach, under the cardinal theory, satisfaction is quantifiable it's measurable for example the first glass of juice can be assigned say 20 units so if i were to drink this glass that satisfaction under the cardinal approach is uh, uh, quantifiable you can assign quantities uh, then we went further and saw the relationship between the marginal utility and the total utility. The mathematical relationship between the marginal utility and the total utility. We say that the marginal utility of um, after consuming a certain product or unit for example, the second, the second unit will be equal to, we said, the total utility of the second unit minus the total utility of the preceding, the preceding unit, the total, which we here we abbreviated, we, we, we abbreviated as TUN, then the total unit of the preceding, the total utility of the preceding, um, preceding uh, unit will be two minus one. That's what we saw. One way of computing the marginal utility using the total utility. Another way we say would be to get the change change in the total utility divided by change in the quantity quantity consumed the quantity consumed this you can refer to our last video we used an illustration and worked out 
that. So today's lesson, we want to proceed and and uh, look at what we am calling the marginal utility and total utility schedules. Marginal utility MU and total utility TU schedule schedule and this is simply a table we look at the schedule and graph schedule and graph this is what we are going to do in our today's lesson a schedule the mu and the tu schedule is simply a tabular presentation of the units uh, units consumed at different levels and their corresponding total utilities and marginal utilities for example in our last lesson we gave an example of consumption of juice consumption of Juice. Example is the consumption of juice. So the first column here was the number of units consumed and one unit was a glass, glass of juice. Then we had the marginal utility MU. Then we had the total utility TU. So the first class gave a satisfaction of 20 units second one 15 units third 10 units fourth five units fifth zero sixth 35 seventh negative 10 giving us total utility if you are to use giving us total utility here we accumulate the utilities 20 20 plus 15 35 plus 10 45 plus 5 50 plus 0 50 plus 5 negative 5 50 plus negative 5 45 45 plus negative 10 this is 35 this is 35 so uh, just an, a reminder to remind you again remind you again mathematically we said you can compute this marginal utility of uh, consumption of a unit using this formula using this formula for example if you are to take the marginal utility if you are to determine the marginal utility of, say, the third unit, 3, will be equal to TU3 minus TU3 um, minus 1. That means uh, N minus 1, meaning the, the, the value, the value, the total utility of the preceding. The preceding, the preceding level. So in this case, we have the total utility of uh, after consuming product three. I mean, the total utility after consuming the third unit, the third unit, the third glass, the third glass is forty-five. This is forty-five minus the total utility of the preceding 
the total utility of the preceding um, the preceding this is the third class this is the preceding level of consumption or unit and you can see there 35 so the marginal utility derived from the consumption of this glass of juice okay the third glass of juice will be 45 minus 35 which is equal to 10 this 10 here marginal alternatively we can use this formula the change in total utility after consuming the third class after consuming the third class the total utility is 45 this is 45 minus minus the talking of change minus um, the preceding that will give us the change there is a change from 35 to 45 which means we subtract 35 from 45 or 45 minus 35 45 minus 35 over the change in the quantities consumed okay quantities consume the change there is a change here from 2 to 3 so we get we take 3 minus 2 to get the change 3 minus 2 and you can see this is equal to 10 over 1 which is the same as 10 which we calculated here so that is very important for you to remember this we did in our last lesson just as a reminder of how to mathematically derive the total utilities from i mean the marginal utilities from the total utilities so uh, we now proceed we will go on with our schedule this is an example of the marginal utility and the total utility schedule and i say it is simply a tabular presentation of the quantities consumed with the respective marginal utilities and respective total utilities so we can use this data to compute to draw a graph graph the diagrammatic presentation we can have here a graph graph on the y-axis will show the marginal utilities and the total utilities okay so we'll have five 10, which is 0, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So on this graph, we'll have the marginal utilities and total utilities then here we'll have the units consumed the units consumed the number of glasses consumed uh, one two three four five six seven six seven from the table, from the table, from the schedule, we can start off with the marginal utilities first. You can draw the marginal utility graph. So on consumption of the first glass, the marginal utility is 20 units. Second graph, the marginal utility is 15 units the third glass the third glass the marginal utility is 10 units 10 units 10 okay 
then the fourth glass marginal utility five five units the sixth glass this the fifth glass the marginal utility is zero then the sixth glass the marginal utility is negative is negative five negative ten when if I was to drink the sixth glass then the marginal utility will go down to negative five negative five this five here is negative then the last glass the seventh glass the utility goes further down decreases to negative 10 negative 10 so see this is if you are to draw this curve shows a downward sloping downward okay it's downward sloping Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tom Boyer Street, Pioneer House, 3rd floor, opposite fire station.